What's up, guys? Welcome back to the brand new episode of the Toss Up. My name is Jeevan, and uh, today, right, we have a new guest, lah. Because uh, unfortunately, we decided to fire Leonard. Le- Leonard got <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently lah. That's yeah. what we know. He told us. <laughs> <laughs> so on my left, we have uh, Mr. Vika Will. Actually, I tell you the truth lah. I tell lah. Right. I'm actually Leonard. <laughs> oh. oh okay. I decided to look better. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, Vika, want to introduce yourself a bit? Uh, what's up, everybody? My name is Vika from Vika World, Vika Blocks, Vika Games, a I, bunch of shit, man. Basically, on every platform you guys can find me. Vika, Vika, Vika I sex toys everything. also. Yeah. <laughs> One day I'm gonna have my own <laughs> podcast as well. Then, like, <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I just asked him to introduce himself. He plugged himself. Like this. <laughs> Whenever you can find time for you to promote yourself, you gotta promote yourself. Man. Um, That's how you you succeed in life. <laughs> <laughs> On my far left, we have Christian Jit. Hello, wonderful one. What? <laughs> what the what? Hello, wonderful people. Wonderful people. The tongue twist. <laughs> one thing you guys don't know, Chris is actually a very sexually active guy. He yes. likes his sexual fantasies of weird shit. Yeah. yeah. How do you not, know? It involves <laughs> we, we, <laughs> it, it, most of the time it involves it's guys. Like we spend so, so much time together like that. <laughs> Cause, cause based on past episodes, you guys would know what we're talking yeah. about. <laughs> so on my right, we have Ian Steven Ong, the narrator of this entire podcast. Hey, what's up everyone? All right. So uh Vika, you ready or not? I'm ready, man. Born ready, bros. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, roll the title cut. On this week's episode, we're going to talk about one of Malaysia's oldest and most well-known cults. We're going to talk about the Sky Kingdom. The Sky Kingdom was founded in 1975 by a man named Arifin Muhammad, who is better known as Ayah Pin. The cult grew in popularity and by the mid-1980s, there were up to 22,000 followers. The compound was very easy to spot. If you went to Besut Terengganu, during the time, you will see the giant structures of cement teapots and giant umbrellas covering the land. You know, <laughs> you do, you've never heard of this, is it? No. You, you heard of this before? I, I, like a good 10 years ago, yeah, 10, yeah, 15, yeah. it was a huge news, man. Oh, really? They proper covered the whole thing. I remember the teapot was the first yeah. thing that I can think oh, of. Yeah. I didn't know. Oh, like, I, yeah. I still didn't know. Yeah. I know the, about, about the story back then, but I don't know in detail. Yeah. 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 This is a surface. So yeah. this is something linked to Get Out lah. Teapot and the cup. They, they, enough, enough, enough. <laughs> I tell you, this one thinks he's a filmmaker, but he's not. <laughs> like hypnotized. This one is a giant structure of teapots and umbrellas. Yeah. So it looks like a mini Neverland, I yeah, would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had that, it, that, uh, it had that kind of like feel to it. What, is, so it, it, what is it to do with his cult? Ayapin, the head of the commune, started these buildings plans one day in 1995 once he had a divine revelation. He claimed to be the living embodiment of Jesus, Shiva, Buddha, and Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> he went to the Avatar state. <laughs> what? So oh, the past like, life. Oh, everything combined. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. He, he like, you know what? If I say I'm the reincarnation of one God, they're going to fuck me up. Right. So he right. said, go <laughs> Cover all the bases. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. He, was, he, yeah. he had the Satu Malaysia spirit in him. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one lah. The, the, the one. one. Yeah. <laughs> just, just letting you know, Vika doesn't watch uh, cartoons. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he believes he's a grown up lah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Rude ass. All right, go on. In the promotional videos that were released, he was referred to as the almighty and superior God. He was able to guide his followers into salvation. And they wholeheartedly believe in the other stories. To his followers, he had supernatural abilities. The stories say he had the power of invisibility and ability to kill a man with thoughts powers alone. One of his followers said that they can pray and to be transported to another realm. In their words, they meet him up in the sky. They traveled through Medina, Saudi Arabia, a major pilgrimage site, to Mecca. Then finally to the sky to meet Ayah Pin in his palace. <laughs> okay, I got so many questions. Uh, back in 1975, do you think these were educated people? Most probably not. Most probably not. Yeah. Right? I, I believe they were very educated people. Right? Educated yeah. in the 70s. 70s. 1975. 
They are all damn well educated, but man. This yeah. is Basut Terengganu. But maybe he targeted mm. Terengganu. Ah. So you yeah. think Terengganu people not educated? Is it? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you damn, we are damn lucky. Leonard is not here. <laughs> <laughs> to be yeah. fair, Terengganu people are the nicest people in Malaysia, man. Have you all have you all visited? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. fucking nice. I agree. Nice. I agree. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Legit. What, what was your experience with them? Like they're just them. Like when I went for Perhentian, they're damn nice. They're 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 very polite. They're not they're not racist, man. There's yeah, no yeah. you I can't feel racism through Terengganu people. So do you think we should start a cult in Terengganu? I think places like Terengganu, Kelantan is the easiest spot for you to start a cult. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> because they're like, so nice. I like how he added Kelantan in it. <laughs> No, because they're too nice. Uh-huh. They're like, believe everything. So you use the nice people. Uh. Sometimes. That's how, <laughs> that's how life works, man. That's how life works. Uh, so it's e- okay to lie nice people. Uh. Not lie. So that's how, that's how the brand is. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, the, the thing is, right. Um, because I never heard of his story before. Mm-hmm. So when somebody tells me, right, that they can kill people with the power of thoughts, right. Mm-hmm. My first instinct would be that's bullshit. Yeah. I need some evidence, you know. So uh, I remember back then, uh, my dad, my dad used to go for all this uh, meditation and all this center. And there was particular uh, this particular person. I don't remember their name. And a lot of people believe that the man can fly. Like legit, they thought he Is can he fly. Is he Tony Fernandez? No, no, no. no. <laughs> he's, he's not Asian. <laughs> they believe that this man can fly. So uh, when they meditate. They could feel him floating. Probably behind some people carrying with the... So, so, so I would think like, if you're meditating, you're closing your eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. you can yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. shit. Like how the hell would you know? So, uh, it's apparently a sin to open your eyes when you're meditating mm-hmm. or something. That's some rule. Uh. Mm-hmm. So, apparently someone did. Oh, shit. And they found out what he did. When they meditate, they do this. Yeah. <laughs> hands and hands. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yo, that is damn smart. <laughs> That is damn smart though, right? <laughs> and actually people believed it. And the thing is, right? Uh, I remember this particular person because this story was shared among uh, people who left that place and everything. And there were some people who, who were like sitting down and when this person who saw it told the story, right? This person could not believe it. Like they genuinely could not believe that they, this person would, did that. They thought this person was actually flying. Mm. When this is like of recent times or what? Very recent time. Come this on. is like five, six years ago. And believe me, uh, this person, right? is not like uneducated person. No. Mm. This person is like a very high ranking. Wait, so you know this person, is I, it? I know you, this. I think you got to- No, no, I know, know the person. No, I met everyone. I met the person who yeah, did it yeah. also. Oh, okay. So I've, I've seen them. I don't name name. Hey, yeah. come on, man. If you know the story, <laughs> you know. <la. laughs> yeah. But I think beside education and everything, Religious belief and all this kind of a belief system, right? It, you don't you don't have to be educated, foolishly believe something. But you need to have some lo- no, sense of logic. No, right? I think I disagree with what you said. Why? I feel like if you're educated, you've learned science and all. You can you can rationalize. Yeah, that's true. But if so, if there is a sense of doubt in your because you brought up in a certain way that always taught you that this is the truth, this is the truth, this is the truth. After even though. The educa- like you already know the truth and everything. You choose to believe that the past, the attachment that you have. So the, you're telling us like people who believe in religion are... Is that what you're trying to say, Chris? <laughs> yes, yes. I do, yeah. I do, I do, I do say... Okay, things, so what? I, religious people are stupid. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that's religious not, people... That's damn rude, man. No. <laughs> like, why would you... He's, he's, he's trying, he's trying to, <laughs> I'm just trying to rephrase what you just said. <laughs> no, I'm saying that religious people have the... Uh, emotional what attachment. Emotional attachment. Mm, to, what, uh, to what they believe. To what they believe because of the, the, the ancestors and all this kind of thing. They passed down. So do you have uh, so much of attachment... His stories were just as centric as the man himself. He had four marriages in total. After his first wife died in 2012, he remarried a girl who was just 18 years old and subsequently married two more women briefly after that. No wonder he was in Terganola. <laughs> I mean, you gotta give props to this guy, man. At least he followed the legal age. Shit, you know what I mean? It's not no, like no, the 14, thing is, 15 year old. No, no, let's be honest. 18 year old, mm. but they didn't give the age for the other two. Yeah, they didn't. Oh, ah. yeah. And they specifically mentioned only this girl as 18 year old. So that's the only older, older mm-hmm. age girl. Maybe she's the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> that makes that makes sense, man. Terengganu are nice one people. One thing I don't, I understand one thing. You understand or don't understand? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, 
both, both. It's like both. That, that's like, called confused. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm Fun. confused. Yeah. Most likely all the spiritual leaders who were associated with scandals and everything, right? Why are they always uh, being pedophile? <laughs> all, all they, because they're pedophile, they choose this profession. <laughs> a lot of sense. Okay, I just want to say, we're not saying all religious people are like that. No, we're just saying that this syndicate. <laughs> who, who self-proclaim that they are God. Okay. Right, that, okay. Yeah, that's the only, this kind of people only, which is the good, true religious leader would never say they are God. So, together with three wives and 21 children, <gasps> they stayed in the Sky Kingdom compound. Compound? Uh, 21 children? Uh. It's an estate. It's quite big area. Oh my God. 21, uh. He's like Genghis Khan. Hey, the fellow has... <laughs> <laughs> the fellow has close to three futsal team. You know. <laughs> Vika, would you have 21 kids? No, man. But I, I wouldn't mind 21 wives. So this is- <laughs> I mean, 21 hey. kids is too much too much a shit man hey, can you if you have 21 wives right every hour of your Wait. time you give right you need 3 hours to yourself right? he had a 21 Which, wife or 21 kids 21 kids Children. I mean he we had, don't know how many wives he had 3 wives 3 wives, yeah. three wives 21 kids 7 yeah. kids per- <laughs> <laughs> Seven kid per wife. Wow. I mean, he, he pinned down that pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I have pinned. <laughs> they would put special emphasis on interpreting dreams and rituals. Every Saturday night to Sunday morning, all the followers would have to dedicate their entire time to spiritual practices. In one of the events, Ayapin will lie down on a concrete boat until the next day. His followers would surround him and continuously chant for hours and end until the next day. To them, he is their god. Another follower joined the Sky Kingdom because of a dream. The follower was sitting on a hill when he saw Ayapin. His feet were on the bottom of the hill. When he looked up, he saw Ayapin was even taller than the hill. His supernatural feet was enough to make the man believe Ayapin was the almighty. His perspective wrong lah. <laughs> I have perspective. <laughs> Maybe he was sitting in front, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think they put a fish eye lens in front of him. <laughs> no, I think I think at most, right? Because uh, I don't know whether you've seen, uh, there was a cult, a Netflix series about one of those cult, poison there, half of the cult. Oh yeah, that one. Oh. Uh, at, at the end of the, the, the day of salvation or something, yeah, they yeah, put yeah. like poison in the drink and they have a huge no, no. event. The, 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 not poison the drink, the food was half cooked. The chicken, oh, salmonella, the, the, salmonella. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay. So they had that, uh, I think people died, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the lady who was involved in the cult, uh, she said like, the main fellow only did it. They had so much money, right? You know, a state, they were able, they were going to form a government on their own. Oh, They were wow. that big, you know. Wow. They were that big. Uh, police officers were afraid to go into their compound because these fellas were very powerful. This is the Eat, Pray, Love. Is that that documentary? I think so. One of the documentary. It's the the guy's like a pedophile and also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. (laughs) (laughs) That's why they choose this profession, is it? (laughs) You you wanted to be a spiritual leader, right? No, but I never want to claim as a god. It was different. If you guys were gods, what gods would you guys be? Okay, I want to be... Okay, that's actually a very good question. I would be the god of uh, god of knowledge, more likely. I want to yeah. know about what happened before us, after us, and out there in space. And I want to know about what is happening. I want to, I just want to know. Mm. So I'm more curious about it. What about you? Me, I think I'll be god of wank. <laughs> like I want to wank so much and not feel tired. <laughs> like, it's pissing me off whenever I wank nowadays oh. and I feel tired. I'm, I'm you know, like all the teenagers, if they wanted to wank all night, then they have to pray for you. Know, you know, yeah. you could have. <laughs> you know, you know what's the you know what's the the stupidest thing, you know? You could have changed the god of sex. Yeah, yeah. but he yeah. wants specifically. To <laughs> he just want to play with himself, you know. Yeah. He doesn't even want to play with other people. They, they yeah, how they contribute to you? They la. call me the independent. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he made it a point to connect with other religion too by doing an interfaith prayer session with Hindus and indigenous Christian tribes from Borneo. They felt a connection to Ayapin as these are the communities that were often overlooked. He even organized parties that went late into the night. It didn't help that he was operating in East Malaysia, which is way more conservative than where we are. In 2001, Ayapin publicly 
renounce Islam and he was later jailed for 11 months on the grounds that he was belittling Islam. <laughs> you know, that's what I was going to ask. Mm. If publicly you say you're not Islam, right? Mm. Mm. You will end up in jail. Right? Oh, is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you know, like, a lot of people, a lot of Malaysians are trying to convert out of Islam. Mm. And it's yeah. a yeah, huge process, you know. Yeah. It takes yeah. years. Vika, do you pray? Like, when I need help. <laughs> <laughs> like I used to pray a lot during like exam period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you study for exam or not? I do, I do, <laughs> I do. Uh, and also like of course like when I'm when I'm feeling down and shit. Oh, I okay, feel like, yeah. So you should like, pray. Like when I re- when I, it's been a while. Yeah, it's when he needs while. help la, Like when I say. need help la. So DJ which is why I feel like I'm, I'm I'm not a good person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in in the religion sense, I don't think I'm a good person. Why? Just because, because just because he doesn't he only uses. Religion yeah. when it's convenient for you. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, think yeah. He's a bad yeah. person. I feel Just because of that, you will never become a bad person. Day. No, not not. I'm not a bad person, but in in the in the religion world, mm. doesn't like feel I right. Feel, yeah. yeah, like I sometimes I feel like fuck, man. Like yeah, like what the fuck but, is this? But I don't think you're the only one. I think there are people out there who yeah, also yeah. do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but here's the thing. Whenever I like I pray, I'll apologize. <laughs> Hey, like, sorry for being a horrible guy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's been some time. <laughs> but guess who's back? <laughs> it's like a long time friend. Well, you know? I have another favor to ask. <laughs> <laughs> what is the worst thing you asked? What's the worst thing? Okay, this is the funniest shit. Like, All right, okay, okay, okay. This is, I remember when I was 12 years old, right? All right. 12 years old, I, I was very, I had a crush, a huge crush on this Malay chick, right? Okay. Like she was with like Tudong and all, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember- wait, wait, You were 12. That means the girl is 12 as well. 12 as well. Yeah. yeah. By primary school. All right. Now she's married and all, by the way, it's damn weird. Wait, you still, you still know- I mean, on Facebook. <laughs> oh, yeah. friends, right? <laughs> Did you show re- me? Yeah? I, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in, in temple, I used to go there and I, I used to pray like, hey, bring her, bring her to the temple as well. <laughs> In my head, I'm like, this is a good spot to go dating. Actually, like, this is a nice Petronas ad. <laughs> Petronas, if you're listening, we already copyrighted this thing. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Petronas the Pawali. Yeah, yeah. Petronas, Pawali yeah. What an innocent kid. Yeah. <laughs> a temple is a nice Malay place. girl who's wearing Tudor, yeah. come to your temple. Why not, man? Why not? See, I feel like religion is the reason why every everybody separate. Yeah. Right? Segregated. Right? Sometimes yeah. you didn't know, right? The race and all. Yeah. Last time, bro, so I... Innocent. Yeah. So, so what happened? This shouldn't come. La. <laughs> so then I answer my question. Maybe so that is the day you for, give I'm up like, God. La. Not give up. I'm like, I start reali- realizing like, mm. is this real? Is this true? Mm. Like, I think having doubt is very important as, as you grow up. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it's like not completely believing in things. Mm. That's like mm. 100%. That's but good. at the same time, maybe when you were praying, right? The girl passed by the temple. Probably. Mm. Okay. Maybe. And, and you didn't see. Could be. Yeah. Could be so. Mm. Mm-hmm. But she's married now. La. She's married <laughs> with a kid and all. With a kid? Uh? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, how many kids? I think one. Wow. She's quite uh, conservative. City city people. How many times your prayers came true? Hmm. That's a damn good question. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, every time you pray for the exam, right? <laughs> Did it ever come through? See, it. All, I feel like it only makes sense if let's say to prove this theory, right? Mm-hmm. To, to prove whether praying works, right? Exam, you don't study at all and then you pray and you pass. That's, it makes sense. Yes. The fact that you're studying, like I'm already doing okay. like 95% of the work. So like, what's, okay. The, okay. what's the point? Okay, I'll be yeah. honest with you. I, be, I used to be like, I never studied and I used to go for exams without studying and I'm thinking like, okay, hopefully la, something, some miracle but, happened. There was one time, you know, I didn't, I'm very bad at chemistry because one of the things right, I never like understood. Chemistry the subject or chemistry human beings? <laughs> subject. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. For the longest time, right? You know the H2... Did you study science? Yeah. So you know the thing called H2O? That's water. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know what was the two for. So <laughs> Okay, wait. Do you know it now? Yeah, now I know. What, what's two, the two, uh, two hydrogen and one uh, oxygen atom. So when I went to chemistry exam, I told myself, right? I didn't study and I hope something happens. Okay. Somebody helps me. Helps me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So at the same time, right. When I said that, I saw someone in front of me. You know, objective paper. Yeah. I can see the objective paper. 
like straight up in front of me. Wow. And I was like, yeah. So as he was doing it, I was doing it as well. So okay. God encourages cheating. Lah. Yeah. So, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably that's what I thought. Which God is that? Huh? I don't know. So after that, so after that, I felt so like, I felt so relieved, right? I went to him. I told him that day, Macha, I just want to say thank you so much because, because you did the, you showed me the, you showed the paper that like that. I managed to somehow do the chemistry paper and I think maybe I'll get like 20 or 30 or 40 at least. I wouldn't mm. fail. Yeah. And he looked at me like completely disbelieved, you know, just had that face that completely disbelieved. And he said, the eyes have hung thumb everything. <laughs> You know what's the worst part? He got three, I got four. <laughs> Wait, three out of hundred. <laughs> yeah. No way, bro. I got three, you got four. The chemistry teacher called both of us and asked, both your same answers are exactly the same. <laughs> did, you know, did you not know whether this guy is like a smart? I'm sure you, when no. you copy, you want to copy the smartest kid. Okay, I was in the first class. Okay. So it's not like okay, chemistry by far is the worst subject. At meds, I used to get A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So chemistry, I. Get like C or D. Okay. okay. That's my average. So when the flow, the flow, every subject he's an A student kind of thing. Mm. So this was like midterm, you know. <laughs> and you I thought, thought that, this fellow was yeah. smart. Apparently, no. Mm. <laughs> Not with chemistry. <laughs> well, after his arrest, the government hoped that his arrest would stop the movement from gaining traction. But it actually did the opposite and they gained supporters among Orang Asli University students. On a mysterious night in 2005, the compound was raided by 30 mass vigilantes wearing hoods. They set the headquarters aflame and destroyed the premises. When their followers tried to call out for help, they saw that the electricity and the phone lines had been cut. When one of the followers went to make a police report, they ended up arresting her and the 47 other Sky Kingdom disciples instead. You get to make complaint, they can you. <laughs> yeah. without, without question, they Now they are very safe, what? <laughs> 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 then, a bulldozing crew went to the compound and destroyed all the giant teapots. The last structure they had to tear down was the steps where Aya Pin used to give his sermons. Suddenly, the bulldozer broke down and they couldn't finish the job. The disciples believed that it was divine intervention. Tensions kept rising amongst the government and the group which forced Aya Pin to reside in Thailand just past the border of Kelantan in exile. Finally, he passed away at the age of 74 due to natural causes in the home of his third wife. Still, this is a man that claimed to be reborn 17 times. So maybe he's not actually dead at all. He born as Rosmala then. Hey, I'll, be, I'll be very honest with you. I really think this guy was treated unfairly. As much as whatever he did, right? Mm-hmm. He did it in his own way, you know. He didn't like harm anybody. Yeah, from, yeah. From all the stories we heard, right? This is the most nicest guy we heard, no? Right. But this is, the, he this is a story that we know. The uh-huh. behind story, we yeah. don't know. What are the pedophile things that he had done? Dude, don't assume that <laughs> he immediately they're pedophile. Like. <laughs> Why are you assuming they're pedophile immediately? Straight because that's pedophile. what I see the, everywhere. <laughs> so no, just that, because that's... someone, one person do it, everyone does it. No, every, most, it's like 90% of them doing that. Maybe he's the 10% he didn't do it. Could be. Yeah. Could yeah, be right? Right? Like, yeah. you know what's damn weird about this whole thing, right? You have like, Hindu, Christianity, Buddhist, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Buddhism and all. Yeah. This sort of started as a cult as well. Why is this accepted and this new, new Religion. religions not, not being able to, to, to be accepted in the country? Mm, right? Yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like it's, it's the start of something. Every religion started somewhere. This one, yeah. his Ayapin starting his own shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why is this? Is this like a challenge? Is this, do they feel insecure? Because it, time, bro. Huh? The time's wrong up. timing. Yeah. Actually, have you guys heard this called uh, Unify Religion? What? Unify Religion. Is it TM or not? TM or not? <laughs> no, no. It's, really, it's not it's TM one, but it's a called religion called Unify. So this religion's motive is that actually blind merit, blind is like, they will make mixed merit, oh, mixed racial it, merit. Yeah, so yeah, this, yeah. this religion every this. year, uh, from different, different country. They have a lot of branches from different, different countries. So it's like, okay, the spiritual leader is from Korea. So yes, he's the one who did the mass marriage thing. Yeah, like yeah. That. So he will bring the black people, Brazilian people. So all really, all racist people. Lah. And he will blind married to, to, so his belief is that everybody mixed married, then there will be no racial problem. That's true. Yeah. Actually, uh, actually, right. And also, if you are virgin, you have to go through him first. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? And, yeah. The wife, and the wife agreed this thing because he has to, like, it's like a, a spiritual thing. So the He's virgin girls have to go through. <laughs> oh. yeah, you know, I was just about to say a nice thing about him. <laughs> yeah. right? See, that's, that's why I don't believe in spiritual leaders who They always have pro- hidden agenda. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, they always have something for their own favor. For but benefit. this is only for me, for female virgins, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's, like, a, that's a very good question. <laughs> this is something I don't know, okay? Okay. <laughs> Another thing is that another thing is that this is I heard from my Korean friend, okay, and uh, yeah, yeah. the wife accept that the, the wife uh, encourage the younger kids to go through to the husband. What oh, the yeah. fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the own daughter, lah. No, no, like, like other people's children. Yeah, other oh, what, okay. what about his daughter, though? I don't know about that. Yeah, that one we don't know. Yeah. But with that being said, we want to know your opinion. On what do you think about? People who are cult leaders, what's your opinion about that? Yeah. Uh, if you have any opinions, let us know in the comment down below. Yeah. Or if you're a cult leader, comment down below. And was, well. uh, I mean, yeah, we, we can feature you in the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, best, the best comment, we will pin your comment. With that being said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do listen to us on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. We are all everywhere. And also big shout out to Vika for yes. coming in this week. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Yeah. Invite I mean, me more, man. I mean, you plugged yourself more than <laughs> you <laughs> contributed to the conversation. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Jeevan. My name is Vika. And I'm Chris. Ian. We'll see you again. Ciao. Ciao.